Hi, my name's Naomi Jones. Hi, my name's James Jones. And we're here today to read to you our brand new story, which is a picture book called The Perfect Fit. It was written by Naomi and illustrated by me. The Perfect Fit is all about a triangle who feels like she doesn't belong with the other shapes, so she goes off in search of somewhere that she fits in perfectly. It was inspired by our son who is struggling to fit in at nursery. Okay, now let's read the story. The Perfect Fit, written by Naomi Jones, illustrated by James Jones. This is Triangle. Triangle loved rolling with the circles. Whee! Let's roll! But sometimes she felt a bit different. Sorry, that tickles. The circles didn't mind when Triangle accidentally bumped into them, but Triangle did. Stick around, oh dear. She felt like she was getting in their way. So she decided to find somewhere she could truly belong. Just around the corner, Triangle discovered some squares. Hey Square, step on up. Come and play with us, the squares said. So Triangle did. Hiya. They played all sorts of games and it was brilliant. Let's build a tower, one of the squares suggested. Cannonball. So Triangle hopped up to help. Uh oh, whoa! But they all came crashing down. Sorry, Triangle cried. It's okay, said the squares. We don't mind. But Triangle did. She didn't want to spoil their game. She shook her head. I need to find somewhere I fit perfectly. Around the next corner, Triangle found some hexagons. Do you want to play, they asked. Triangle nodded. Friend, let's play. There were so many games Triangle could play with the hexagons. Ice cream, cool. It was lots of fun. Let's make a pattern, the hexagon suggested. Oh no, hmm. Triangle joined in, but she, but she kept making the pattern different, not the same. Oh, not again. We can play something else, the hexagon said. But Triangle decided to say goodbye and keep on going. Triangle searched and searched. Hello? Anybody there? But couldn't find anywhere she fit perfectly. Anyone? She was starting to feel very fed up. Maybe there aren't any other triangles. Maybe I'm the only one. But then she looked up and thought she saw a familiar shape in the sky. You're not a triangle, are you? Triangle asked. Almost, but not quite, the star said. <sighs> triangle sighed. Don't worry, there are shapes that look exactly like you and they're not that far away. Finally, she found them. Triangles that were exactly the same as her in every single way. She rushed over to join them. Woohoo! Room for one more. Hey there! Together, they played lots of triangle games and it was wonderful. Big fan of this. Hey Star, Merry Christmas! What shall we do next? One of the triangles asked. Let's roll, Triangle suggested. But none of the other triangles knew how to roll. Uh, I'm stuck. As Triangle tried to show them, she thought about all the fun she'd had with the other shapes and it gave her an idea. Let's go, follow the leader, hold up. You found the others, the star called down. I did, Triangle replied, and we had lots of fun. But I realized there was something missing. Everyone else. Over here, come with me, follow me. Would you all like to play with me? The shapes were very excited. They all had a brilliant time. Seesaw, woohoo, ace, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. And even though triangle wasn't exactly the same as everyone else, it was still a perfect fit. The end. We hope you enjoyed our reading of The Perfect Fit. If you'd like to buy your own copy, it's available from Moon Lane Bookshops, online or in store. Thank you, bye. Thank you, bye.